Hello, Biafrans. I'm Michelle Fishman, spokesperson for Biafra Revolutionary Forces. Since this is the first time that I'm addressing you directly, allow me a short introduction. I first became aware of Biafra in 1970 at the age of seven, when my mother took me to march in New York City following the war. As a young adult, I joined a group and worked tirelessly to end apartheid in South Africa and grew increasingly concerned about colonialism in the African continent. About 10 years ago, through my teaching job, I met a Nigerian woman, and I realized that the situation for Biafran people really was not any better. I decided I wanted to find out how I could help. I looked around and I found Pascal Okori and Biafra Revolutionary Forces. Since that time, I have worked nonstop not only to bring about the restoration of Biafra, but also to be sure that after the restoration, Biafra is ready to join the civilized world and all nations in it. BRF has now brought us to the brink of freedom. We are very close and now it is time for all Biafrans to do your part. Starting immediately, BRF directs all Biafrans within Biafra land to begin organizing and preparing to defend local communities. While BRF will continue unrelenting to protect you and our nation, it must be understood that we cannot be in every corner every minute. You must be prepared. We offer some suggestions to assist you. Number one, choose a small group of community leaders to help organize and plan your defense. Number two, Coordinate with other nearby communities to share information and create strategies, such as signals, to alert if aid is needed. Number three, organize a community watch, especially at night, to alert others should there be any suspicious activity. Number four, create an early warning system, bells, sirens, container fires, to offer residents time to flee in case of an emergency. Number five, Gather and evenly distribute anything that can be used as a weapon throughout your community. Number six, if possible, create obstacles to slow or stop enemy movement. Fences, cattle grids embedded into roads, tobacco mixed with water and spread on local vegetation will do a lot to stop or slow enemy movement. Number seven, prepare a plan of action for those who are unable to fight should trouble enter your community. Prepare a designated area of shelter away from your community. Be sure to protect practice with all community members, especially children, where and how to get to the shelter should they get separated during a time of violence. Be sure that you give them more than one route. If possible, store water, food, and a smartphone in your shelter. Use the phone to contact BRF and nearby communities who will aid you and alert us to your situation. We will take immediate steps to offer you relief. Use permanent marker, write names and contact numbers on the inner arms of community members. This will help to reunify your community should there be displacement. At this very moment, local government officials and many dishonest Biafrans are being offered and some are taking bribes to sell parts of your community to the settlements for the House of Fulani or to work against BRF efforts. BRF encourages all Biafrans to keep careful eyes on these betrayers and report them to us immediately. BRF will not tolerate any of these settlements within our borders. BRF is aware that these are scary times for Biafrans. BRF understands and we validate your concerns. I wanna personally reassure you that BRF is not only able and prepared to restore our nation, but have worked tirelessly to bring us this close and there is no going back. We will not relent until Biafra is fully restored. Together, we will return dignity and prosperity to all Biafrans. We strongly urge you to follow us on social media for the latest updates and news. Long live BRF, all hail Biafra. Thank you for listening.